Las Vegas Martin Kung Fu channel. This is Sifu JJ. Today video, the Dragon Kung Fu technique and self-defense. We're going to focus on one move called Auspicious Dragon Wagon is tail, the Xiang Long Bai Wei. The dragon tails in Dragon Kung Fu is the kicks. Wagging the tails means swing the kicks. Mostly those kicks to spanning your body first and to bring your tail, which is the kicks, to kick the target or your opponents. The dragon wagging the tails is a famous and common move in Dragon Kung Fu. Why this movement is famous? Because in a real situation of a fight, people will be focused on attack or defense by hand or kick in the front. During the fight, if you can find a chance, then rotate your body and quick swing your tail, which is a kick. You can finish the fight in a second. That's quick to know the history of Dragon Kung Fu before we start the real application. Let's go! Dragon Kung Fu is a traditional Chinese martial arts. It's an imitative style of animal Kung Fu. Dragon Kung Fu is one of the style from Shaolin, five animal style. The Dragon Kung Fu style has a variety of fighting technique that can be used for wet range fighting needs. The technique can be crippled or kill opponents with simple movement. The Dragon Kung Fu mostly focus on power, short or medium range of fighting. The style was created as aggressive combat arts. The technique of Dragon Kung Fu, either to attack the joint of your opponents or with directly strike, take down your opponents. Dragon Kung Fu is a very effective fighting technique. The technique involves rapid flurries of kicks. There are also sweeping techniques where you try to kick the legs out from under your opponent. Dragon style fighters focus more on evading and confusing their opponents. It's a very adaptable style of martial arts. Welcome back for the Dragon Kung Fu Kicks tutorial. The first movement you can see from the radio is roundhouse kick connect to spanning kick. Let's just start with this one and get ready. Your left leg on the front, both hands on guard position. For the roundhouse kick, so your left direction is supposed to kick in from all the way right side and you go all the way top and you go landing by your left side and you can connect for the next kick. The first move you should to know is knee lift in your right side. Lock this angle so your hand right here you can tap on your knee. So this is the first move. After the step one, you can rotate the body and landing this way. When you make the spanning, you slightly to go heel up because you're spanning by your toes, just like this. Your hand always is the one to lead, and your waist is followed by, and the last one is the kick. So now we can add the kick, so one and two and three. That's how we want to practice, to start with low kick. And you come back like this, and you can practice a little higher. A little bit extend your hip so you can reach your target further. Also, you can kick higher. Let's go into the second kick, the spanning kick. Let's get ready. On guard position, the first move you do is step your right and your third to this side. And the next move, you twist your eye the field or was the target you want to kick. Your target will be straight to this direction, like the camera. Got one, step, two, twist. Look the target, number three, lift your knee. Now, we got to add the three moves together and with the spanning. 
Get ready. One, two, three, and four. So with this spanning, so you slightly lift your heel and spanning by your toes. It's the same technique with the roundhouse kick. You got to lead by your arm and also your waist, then your heel, then your toes to gently to increase the speed. Now follow those steps and to sura kick. So first spinning kick, we have a two kind of technique. One, you attack by the heel to attack those head or the neck. You attack by the heel, you go swing. Another one is you attack by your toes, like a sharp whip to slap the face or any part of the other body. The next kick, tornado kick, is very common movements. So let's just start with me, connect with the roundhouse kick and tornado kick. Kick and landing. The next time, you lift your left knee and your arm spinning. One, two, landing. Let's do it again. Got ready. Kick one, landing. Arm, swing, lift, and switch. One, two. So practice repeatedly with your knee lift and switching them. Once you get comfortable, we go to the next step to make the kick. Kick one, two. Swing arm. Kick. And you're landing this side. Today, we're learning three kind of dragon kicks. The roundhouse kick, the spinning kick, also the tornado kick. You can switch in the orders of the three kicks to accompany them to use your self training or you can use for real application. There are many ways to connect your kicks to change the odors to make more effective, also fun. You'll find other way to combine those kicks other than what I teach. So leave your comment down below. Let me know how's your training today and what is your new combination with the dragon kicks. Thank you very much. I love you all. I see you in next video and bye bye.